and welcome to the second half of issue 17 of the Grim Gazette. I am your host, one of the co-founders of OSI, which stands for Old Spirits Investigations. My name is T. You can call me T. You can call me T Monster. You can call me Twitch Dad. And I am one of the founders of this three-year-old, coming up on three years, three-year-old investigative team that is uh, myself, Phil Rossi, our wives, our family members, when they want to come and join us. And, you know, I've, I've noticed, too, that my my own, uh, our daughter, our daughter has not been on a paranormal investigation for a while. And I just want to make sure, because they're in, they're in chat right now, I just want to make sure that they know that, that at any time, if they want to come and join us, the invite's open. But, yeah, almost three years, Bear. Almost three years. Almost three years. If you don't want to come with us, that's fine. <laughs> if you don't want to come with us, that's fine, too. That's okay. Um, but you know. I just want to make sure you know. And right now we're at the um, the deep dive of the deep dive section of the Grim Gazette. This is where I take a, a, a more detailed look into something that's going on in the paranormal circles. But, you know, it's been weird since Penhurst Paracon. It's been kind of uh, chill. It's been kind of chill. But I, I did make a discovery today that I wanted to share with everybody. And and I think it's pretty freaking cool. So I'm going to go on ahead. And, and this actually pertains to um, to our daughter who is in, in, in stream right now. And I think, I think that uh, this might be something that, yeah, you're going to want to try out on your setup. Because something... Um, because true story chat, something that uh, that the kiddo is getting in, uh, uh, involved in, something that we've been doing for quite some time, uh, virtual reality, VR, virtual reality, and and I want to go on ahead and show uh, show her as well as everybody else here in chat. I wanted to show you all this. So this is something that Jason Hawes has been doing on his channel, and I think it's a pretty neat concept. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this. Now, I can go ahead and leave the music playing in the background because this is... Nope. Hang on, second hand. Hang on. Because this has no music to it. But um, I, 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 I wasn't going to hit play and then just leave it in here, all right? Just, you know, chill. I know what I'm doing. Hi, Cammy. How are you? But this is something that's going on Jason Hawes' YouTube channel. And I think I think this is actually quite cool. So I'm going to go on ahead and hit play, and you'll see what, what we got here. So Jason Hawes is now doing this thing called 360 Tours. And he's he's kind of walking you through it. But take a look at this. So you go widescreen on your on your YouTube, and then you can do this. I am clicking and dragging across the screen. And this is quite cool. Now, if you do a if you do a full 360 all the way around, that's where you see that's where you see both JV and uh the uh the and the, the paranormal investigator that I refer to is stack jacked and packed. There he is, Jason Hawes. Looking really good. Sorry, just saying it again. Looking really good. But this is really cool. With the YouTube app, you can literally do this. If you if you go and this is what um, this is what Jason is talking about. If you if you go into your phone and uh, whether it's horizontal or vertical, you could go in ahead and you can go back and forth like this. Now, can you imagine shooting this in vertical? Exactly, Luna, which is why I would never do it. But here's the other cool bit. The other thing you can do with this is you can log in to the YouTube app on the Oculus, on any model of Oculus. And when you watch the 360 videos on your Oculus, it is it is not necessarily virtual reality, but you can basically do this and you see everything around you. It's just and and I I want to give my uh my daughter and anybody else that 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 plays around with VR um I want to give you a little heads up on this. It is a little disorienting, and it is a little motion sickness. I was getting a, not not too queasy, but I was getting a little dizzy because 
I'm not moving, but the video is moving. And um, and honestly, uh, Arellis, if you want to have a, a nice solution for that, they have wristbands that you can pick up that have little like like a little bead or something on them, and and they have been proven to work. Uh, they're for motion sickness, but you can also you can also do this. Um, uh, you can also do this with uh, with VR. What you do is you, you wear these little these little wristbands, and what they do is they hit certain pressure points, and they actually do um, alleviate some of the some of the symptoms, some of the nausea that comes with motion sickness. So you might want to try that. But you can actually watch this in a headset. You can watch the 360 videos in a headset, and when you look around, it's like you're right there with them. It's like you're right there with them. And um, this is some of the stuff that Jason's doing. Um, so you know, if you want to get if you want to get a different perspective of where of where Jason is now, without a VR, without with without a VR headset, um, it it does look a little weird. It looks really weird because that's what 360 cameras do. But if you replay these videos or the ones that vi the these 360 tours that Jason is doing and you watch them on a headset, it's it's as close to virtual reality as you're going to get apart from it actually being virtual reality. Now that's the thing. If you if it was virtual reality, you would your 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 surroundings wouldn't move, right? You would basically could look around and walk into another room and go into that other room. This is not that. This is this is this is very different. But what I really like about this, what I really like about about this virtual reality setup that that they've got here, is um, now this is this one here is uh, nor, uh, the abandoned Norwich Hospital neighborhood. And and it's um, uh, and I I went through part of this, but then I did one of their uh, of the they did like I think it's the Wilson Mansion in uh, in Vermont, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty freaking cool. And uh, oh yeah, at one point Jason does apologize for all the the peen eye uh, for for the different things there. Um, it it yeah, it's not it's not as interactive, but it's really cool in that you can still pause it and look you can still play it. And as as you play the video, you can look around and in real time, you're looking it, it's seamless. You're looking to your left, you're looking to your right. You can you can turn all the way around and there's Jason and JV behind you. So it is very, very cool. And um And I'd be real curious as to hear your thoughts on these types of videos where you can, to some extent, interact, you know, flip flip, uh, flip perspective around. Because watching Jason do it and then playing around with it in my headset, I was like, oh, shoot, I want to do this for, for OSI. And what's kind of cool about this is you could... Um, do this easily as like a preliminary investigation kind of thing where you show up. Uh, I'll watch you. Do you do that? Not Jason. Oh, come on. Jason's good people. Aurelis. Jason's very good people. Aurelis. Look, I will tell you, I, I, I will never say a bad thing about Jason Hawes because he was such a good sport and such a good guy uh, to me and to everybody on OSI, on o on the OSI team, they were they were just super nice people, and and Jason was very down to earth. Um, now this is wild though. Check this out. This is really wild. There's so so again this neighborhood. Yeah, but who holds the camera better? <laughs> Listen to you. Listen to you secondhand. Um, but what's weird about about this uh, about this this particular video is that yeah there is a freaking boat in the middle of in the middle of all of this. There's a, whoops, hang on. Now I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy and I'm sitting in my oh he's now he's doing a pan around. That's that's why it was. I was like, what the hell's happening? Oh wait, okay, Jason's Jason's turning around. Yeah, there's like a there's like a boat in the middle of this entire neighborhood. 
But this is a neighborhood surrounding one of the uh, one of the w- one of the one of the hospitals in the uh, in 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 the area. It was really in- it's really interesting the the history and the uh, and and what's happening around here. But it's there's an abandoned if, I, if, I, if I'm if I'm remembering right there's an abandoned hospital. But I wanted to show everybody that this is a really neat. I think it's a really neat way of um, <clears throat> it's a really neat way of showing off a place you're going to be at. Whoa! Now that's using that's using uh, YouTube's uh, controls. Oy vey, that that makes me that that makes me a little motion sick right there. <laughs> um. Ah. One, one one thing I, one thing I like I like about this I wanted to point that out, uh, yeah. Jason just said we're up here because we have access. He makes that very clear. We have access, and um, yeah, you've heard me talk about that before. It, it, especially in the United States, it is very important that if you're going if you're gonna if you're gonna investigate something, you need to have. Permission to be on, on on a property somewhere, but I, I'd love to know what you all think. Would you all like to see OSI try out some of these uh, three sixty tours, these three 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 sixty approach to things? I'd love to know. By all means, tell me something about your thoughts in the comments. Tell me now while we're in chat live on Tuesday nights. Walker, good to see you. <laughs> okay. This is kind of cool. Oh, and I'm getting I'm 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 getting the uh, the twerking from Luna, so I can only assume Luna that that twerking means you're all for it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, I thought that was cool. I thought that was uh, I thought that was uh, that was very cool. Um, there we go. And as you see, it's a little easier. It's a little easier to control when you're when you're not doing full screen. But I, I just thought that was really that was that was just a really neat way of showing off a property, and Jason has done this a couple of times. Um, he also did, uh, yeah. Here's the the 360 tour, and you see in the in the thumbnail, you can see that that's what the 360 looks like, without without the uh, with with without using a headset or anything like that. That's what it looks like. But the one that uh, the another one I did was this one. This one was kind of cool too. Um, this is the Norwich cat. Uh, sorry, Wilson Castle. That's what it was. Wilson Castle in um, in Vermont. And this place looks amazing. And I'm I'm looking at this going, yeah, I want to crack at this place. And apparently. This is one of the ways they're ma- they're they're making money is they are inviting people to come in and do paranormal investigations. Now we have to find out how much it costs to rent out a place like that. But would I want to crack at a place like that? Yes. I know it's already been investigated, but I'm I'm fascinated by this. I'm absolutely fascinated by this. The place has got some history. This place has definitely got some history, and um, I actually watched Jason's investigation of it, and not bad, not bad. Uh, I believe they caught like a voice or two, and it'd be worth it'd be worth the the trip. It would definitely be worth the trip. And that's actually something else I wanted to talk about in the um, in the deep dive because really. It's been kind of slow this week, paranormal wise. There hasn't been really a lot of drama, and we've already talked about some of the stuff that. Uh... <laughs> Listen to you, OSI hasn't, so you have to investigate it. Well, that's the plan. That is the plan. I actually told Phil, um, because we we so here here's the um, here's the long and short of it. Um, and this is this is one of the things that. Phil and I had to talk about last week. We had at this at this time, we had nearly the entirety of season three shot. We had so many places that we had covered by this time already. 
And then we had all these other all these other extra bonus places. Like after after we had visited Penhurst, just Phil and me in 2023, we uh, still hadn't we we had on we had booked we had booked uh, uh, Bird Theater, and then we were talking to the folks over at the distillery. We did those two in June. Then in July, uh, we went down to to Lynchburg, and we we had one place that we were planning to investigate. We wound up investigating two other places because of a weird series of circumstances that I don't necessarily want to get into right now. I kind of want to save that for the episode, provided the that we have enough to make the episode. No, Savannah. Sam was the year before. Savannah was uh, 2022. But by the end of the summer, we had enough captured. We had enough footage that we had all of season three taken care of. No, 2022. Yeah, 2022. Believe it or not, that was 2022, Sam. And, and I'll talk a little bit about that. The reason why we have not made a Savannah show is because, sadly, uh, we lost half of our footage. We lost half of our footage because of a uh, of a computer failure over, over at the Rossies, and it was a heartbreaker. So that means we're going to have to go back. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go back. Um... So we're gonna we're gonna try to find now whether or not we're gonna do it with with everybody or if we're just gonna do it just the four of us that remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, we we did we um, we did learn some things though from Savannah. One, when you do something in Savannah, the best thing to the best thing to do is to have cameras with you at all times. Don't leave something steady. And the reason why you had fun in Savannah, well. Bear, that's all you got to say. And I'm going to get to that. The first thing, we, because one of the things that we did in Savannah that I, I I look back on and go, if we had, if now, I was counting on the other footage not being lost. So I sacrificed one of my one of my good cameras, and I did this shot of, of a grid across the seats. And unfortunately, nothing really happened, which was kind of a bummer. Um... But then I lost all the other footage, which was an even bigger bummer. But so that was the first thing we learned was that maybe maybe steady cams, not steady cams, that's the wrong word. Maybe stationary cams in one location, not necessarily conducive for when we're doing an investigation in Savannah. Second thing we learned, never, never, never visit Savannah, Georgia at the end of July, beginning of August. As my as my daughter can attest. It was hotter than whale balls down there. Oh my God. It was rough. But Sam still had a good time. So that's, uh, that tells you something about Savannah. It was still a really cool place, but whew, it was a cool place, but it was not a cool place, if you get me. Um, what, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Arellis. But yeah, it's just, it's a. It was it was rough. It was a rough, rough uh, place. Hey, Bonnie. And um, what is going on here? Well, what is going on here right now is we are doing a recording of a paranormal magazine. This is the Grim Gazette issue seventeen, and that's what we're doing here. So there you go. Oh, and look at this secondhand gifting a sub to uh, to Arellis. Thank you for that. That was very kind of you. So that's what we're doing here, Soul Hooked. And right now we're uh, doing the deep dive discussion about <clears throat> what is coming next for Old Spirits and Old Spirits Investigation. Um, so right now what we're doing is we're, we're looking ahead to, right now season three is taken care of. Well, it's taken care of footage-wise. Season four, we only have two investigations set. That's not even filmed, just set. So we are now looking at places to investigate. And one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to find places. One of the, one of the things that I've noticed about planning a season is, okay, 
we we're working on a budget and not just a budget of of money but a budget of time so when you're when you're starting off as a group you're working with a budget of not just not just money but of time as well and we're looking at time and travel and the other thing that I'm trying to get across to Phil is wherever we're going I want to make sure that the places that we go to, we haven't already covered. There are certain places that I, I do not, if I if we don't have to, I don't want to return to the well again. And there are some of the places, you know, the one, the one that pops to mind the most is um, Gettysburg. And then right behind Gettysburg is uh, Linville Manor. Because we, are, we did Linville Manor in season two. And... We, we do a lot of live streams from Linville Manor. On top of that, with Gettysburg, we have done every season, we've always had something in Gettysburg. And season three, I would prefer not to have Gettysburg, but, you know, Gettysburg is sort of a... There's so much to Gettysburg that I, I, I am okay with going somewhere, provided it's a place that we haven't been. So... That would mean not going to the Jenny Wade house, not going to the orphanage. But the orphanage has been expanded. They've opened up a, a back area that wasn't available when Sam and I and Pip and the Rossies all joined us, and we we did a we did a a, a a big investigation in there. There's there's this new area that's opened up in the in the orphanage, and I'm like, oh, okay. Ah, the clown place. Now, you see, here's where that gets tricky secondhand. I have an open invitation from the good people at Haunt Hunters. They want to take me there. The trick is I have to um, I have to be able to work in there a trip out west. And chances are I'm going to go by myself. So if I go by myself, then that means time that I would have to ask off work. I would have to uh, budget for that. And if I really wanted to truly budget for it, I would also have to budget around things like TwitchCon, which I'm also trying to save up for. And um, and so, could I take Doug Doug? Well, see, here's the thing there about that, Bonnie. See, where, where I... I <clears throat> I've been thinking a little bit about this, too, because I've had a lot of people ask me about, oh, what, well, you could do this. Oh, you could do that with Doug Doug. Oh, you could get a whole bunch of people. So here's the thing about me taking Doug Doug on an investigation. Getting to that one, hold that thought. Um, See, I want to take Doug Doug to a place that I know is going to break his brain. And the problem with taking him to the clown motel is that I'm going into the clown motel with a very side eye cocked head kind of like, okay, are we making this place more active than what it should be? Because I'm having a tough time buying into this clown motel. I've been very skeptical of the clown motel ever since I first saw it. So, so, um, well, and, and that's the thing too, Sonny. There have been there have been a lot of groups that have gone in there and you know they have they, they do their 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 bra bra, it's haunted bra kind of moments. But haunt hunters really want to take me there. They really want to take me there. And um I just mm, I I just I, I that's not the place I want to take I want to take Doug Doug. I want to take him to the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, and I want to I want to see if I can sort of you know open his mind to the possibility that there is something other that it the Clown Motel feels like it's leaning in a little too hard, whereas Trans Allegheny is like we got some history, and and that's why I I love that place. Now, are we going to investigate it in uh, in in time for season four? I don't know. It's so close we should we should go for it. But again, that's a place we have to budget for because that place isn't isn't cheap. That place is an investment. Um I'm trying to think of some other some other places that uh, oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind taking Doug Doug to uh, Linville. 
And um, well, the, the, the where the thing was crawling on the floor, that was the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. That's what that's what that was, Arellis, which is one of the other reasons why I want to get in there. Um, <clears throat> but um, secondhand actually mentioned lighthouses, and I would not hesitate going to a lighthouse if we could get access to it. You think you think Sonny, you think Doug Doug is more suited to to Linville? I think it would be too. I think it would be too. And and they are. Oh, Luna, they are such a vibe. And St. Augustine, when it comes to lighthouses, St. Augustine is the top is is at the top of the list. I would love to investigate the St. Augustine lighthouse. Now there are lighthouses in the area that I would love to I would love to visit. Um going into the outer banks, I know that there is access at Currituck. Uh, there is no longer act. No, there is access to on. Um, no, it's not body. It's the other one. It's the one they moved. Hatteras, Cape Hatteras. Now, here's where it gets tricky, though. Uh, I know that uh, Hatteras, and I also think Currituck. They're on uh, state park properties, which means it's kind of a process to try to get an access to to that kind of a uh, that that kind of lighthouse, versus St. Augustine, where that is owned by other people, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we know this place is on it. It's got some juju about it. You want to investigate it? Here's the cost." Now I can always send out a query and go, "Hey, are you interested?" And we see what happens next. There are some lighthouses up north that Phil, and that's the other thing too. Phil wants to go north, and I think he wants to go north because he's got family up there, and he wants to, you know, be able to say hey to his dad and his mom and things like that. And let me tell you something, Papa Rossi and Mama Rossi, yeah, they got game. I love the two of them. They are so nice and so much fun. And there are some places that he wants to go up there, but I know there are also some lighthouses up there. And... um but uh, but I would I would truly love investigating a lighthouse, and and a free place to say exactly secondhand exactly using uh, the Rossi's house as a as a base of operations. I'd be all about that. I'd be all about that. Not a problem with that at all. But I would want to. Um, oh, and I would say this too. I I because it's easier for us to get away. But yes, yeah, Sam, because Sam's got some uh, history, if you will. With the lighthouses in in, uh, in in the Outer Banks, if you wanted to come with us on that, I I, I would I would be hard pressed for you to say no on that. <laughs> but I will say, but I would I would add to that. Um, Sam's got some other travels that she's going on, and um, well, you've been there before. That's what I mean. That's what I mean by history. That's what I mean by history, Bonnie. Um, well, Sam's been going with with uh, with with us to the Outer Banks. Uh, I shouldn't say it was a baby, so you know reasons. <laughs> anyway, when you were but a wee barn, very you were you were you were small. You were small back then, any small. Anyway, um, and one of the things that uh, that I would I would I would want to want to find. Out. Also, Sam's got a lot of travel coming up. Uh, this year, so you know, this academic year. So I just wanted to make sure that that if we did that, if it didn't happen in in, in the Outer Banks in season uh, four, I would definitely want it to happen in season five. But these are all things that we're we're currently kicking around. Is okay, where are we headed? Because we've got to get stuff locked into the calendar so that we know where we're going. Um, and no, it's not twenty twenty five now. Calm down, Bonnie. It's not 2025 now. Going across the big pond. That's going to happen. That's going to happen secondhand when uh, when Phil and I can go full time, I think. <laughs> we would have to have at least, at the very least, 100K subs and, and super active uh, people in that subs, you know, following us. So I'm just saying. Um but one thing I would say that I, I would like to see us do is I'd like to see us target some places up north. 
and lock in some dates. The only place that I'm even remotely thinking about going back to that we've been before, but I'd like to go back to because we didn't have the right equipment, I think, to truly investigate it. Um, there is a place, and I know I've mentioned it before, but it's called the Blackburn Inn. And they're based out of Stanton, Virginia. This place used to be uh, a lunatic asylum. It used to be an asylum. And uh, the guy that ran it was an absolute nightmare. Uh, he, he actually was... Uh, um, big on eugenics. So that should give you something to consider there. And um, and on top of being big on eugenics, he was, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, the, the, the wilder part of, of this asylum is that it's been turned into a boutique hotel. It's been turned into a boutique hotel. And, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, delightful is only a, that's an understatement, my friend, that's an understatement. And, and I would not mind going back there and doing a proper investigation. Because Phil and I were in over our heads, we didn't have any, any really good, um, we didn't have the right kind of equipment. Because when we were trying to live stream it, I was live streaming primarily in the dark. And that's, that doesn't make for good content. So that's one place I'm I'm considering maybe we should we should think because it's also close, and um, it's within our budget constraints I think. And and I think if we could just get some stuff locked in, I would probably feel better about season four. I would prefer not. I'd prefer not to be making the season up as we go. I would I would prefer to have it what we did. Uh, Oh, to have it look at that. Uh, I'd prefer to have it what we did the, the, the previous year where, um, where, yeah, we, we didn't, um, we weren't, we weren't making the season as we went. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. Having, having the, uh, the, the, the following season locked in, particularly for investigations, that just, that really alleviates a lot of the stress uh, because trying to make a season as you're investigating, you see that with a lot of the, uh, the teams that are currently um, doing this full time on, on YouTube. And quite frankly, I don't know how they do it because that is just, I mean, they, they, they will investigate a place and within two weeks they'll have it, they'll have it edited. They'll have it, um, uh, ready to go, all loaded up, and they'll even have it to a point of where they can do an early release for some of their members. And I, I, I don't know how they do it because while, because you got to remember, while they're doing that, they're at another place investigating. They're still investigating while editing the other thing, uh, the editing the, the previous. Uh, uh, and so I'm just like, I, I don't know how you do it. I do not know how you do it. So I'm trying to get stuff as, as, fixed and and set as possible and right now that's a little difficult but but season three we are still on we are still on course what we got coming up is we got antietam which are going to be shorter shows wayside which will be longer shows and then uh i believe it's going to go it's going to go um in august it will be the distillery and then September that will probably be the season finale and the season finale is going to is it's going to be a busy month September because that's going to be the old hospital on College Hill and then after the old hospital on College Hill we will then turn around and we will be doing our Halloween special which will be Annaberg and then if everything works out knock wood if everything works out we will have a holiday special where I don't know. Where I don't know. Man, chat's in a very demanding mood tonight. I'm noticing. There you go. Yeah. So anyway, that is the long and short of what's happening at OSI. I wanted to go on ahead and also uh, pass along not only uh, what we're doing over at OSI, but also talk a little bit about what Jason Hawes is doing on his channel. 
and see if uh, 360 tours were something that you'd like to see us uh, give a give a, a try on with OSI. I thought that would be a neat thing to to chat about. But as you all know, the Grim Gazette is always filmed live on Tuesday nights here on Twitch. So if you want to join in for that, you know where to where to where to find us there. If you can't, don't worry. Edited versions of the Grim Gazette appear on <clears throat> on our YouTube channel, which you're at right now. So if you have an idea, if you've got an article that you would like to see uh, covered on the Grim Gazette, you know what to do. You can join our Discord. You can join our Discord, go to the Grim Gazette room, and feel free to drop in a weird news story. Feel free to drop in a paranormal clip that you think would be a good challenge for me to try and debunk or to try and confirm because that's something that I'm I'm uh, I'm never shy of doing here. I mean that that was what led us to to the thing that happened on paranormal encounters over at Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. I'm still kind of reeling over that. But if you can't make it to Discord and if you can't make it here live, well, you always have um the YouTube Issues, the back issues, if you will. And you can drop a comment there. Drop a link to a, a, a weird news article. Drop a link to a paranormal clip. Please make the paranormal clips no longer than five minutes. I want to make sure that I'm getting as much as I can in here. And I appreciate each and every one of you being here. As you can see, we have a lot of fun here. And if you want to join us live, great. If you want to uh, give us love uh, on the YouTube channel, even better. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thank you all so much for joining us for yet another Grim Gazette. I hope you've had a great night with us. So until next week, when I come back with more weird news and paranormal clips to look at, do me one favor. Stay weird.